Welcome to ELD Device Driver Training. We have the PCT, is what they're calling out, PeopleNet Connected Tablet. Uh, we're going to do a day in the life of logging in. This screen is what we are familiar with. You will enter your driver ID and your password and click the sign on. At this point, the log data is all being brought up and that might take some time. Once it is, you can click OK. There's some information there, some logs on this ELD requiring your action. You have some unidentified driving records, uncertified logs in some other uncertified logs. So it's going to prompt you on things that you need to address. So at this point, there's nothing you need to do with your logs. You will just click OK. And this screen will pop up to continue your login process. You'll see a preview of your available hours. When you're ready to select a duty status, select the status icon. If you hit cancel, it's going to completely boot you off of the PeopleNet unit and you'll have to put in your password and ID again. So we'll click status. And at this point, you want to select the on-duty driver. You will not ever use the on-duty not driver. Um, SB stands for sleeper berth. On YM is on-duty yard move and off PC is off-duty personal conveyance move. So we're going to choose the status of on-duty driver. After signing in and selecting the on-driver status, the driver will be asked to verify and add removed shipments, then prompted through the DVIR process. This is the shipment screen of managing shipments. You'll plug in what load number you're under and click Add, and it'll populate over on the current shipment side. At the top of the screen, you see that there is a little red file. That's for shipments. The trailer is the red trailer is for the trailer number, and the other triangle with the exclamation point, that's for the unidentified driver. At this point, we're just managing shipments, so we will add it and then click Next when you're done. And after you add it on your logs, that file red file icon will disappear. Then you'll be prompted to do the DVIR request. So you click on Request DVIR, once it's received, you'll select OK. The odometer and location should automatically populate for you. You want to verify the data for the DVIR is correct and then select Next. You want to hit Yes, Safe to Operate, and then select Done. If the equipment is not safe to operate at that point, you do want to get a hold of dispatch, call maintenance, and make sure you are operating the equipment safely.